New video just released, body camera footage from inside Fort Smith's Mercy Hospital when it was placed on lockdown earlier this week. Fortunately, the armed man that they were looking for, John West, was only armed with a water gun, painted to look like the real thing. These law enforcement officers prepared for this day, but only after intense active shooter training. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Chad Mira. The Fayetteville Police Department is going through multiple days of active shooter training this week, just in case they're faced with a real-life danger like what we saw in Fort Smith on Monday. KDBA's Gabriella Phelan found out what FPD is working on this week and how body cam video from other agencies like this one help with their training. Gabby. Chad, of course, the department's biggest hope is they'll never have to put this training to the test. But it's this training FPD puts their officers through every year, so they're ready to respond to any of the Fayetteville Public Schools campuses. This week, officers are going through intense active shooter training at Fayetteville High School, one of the largest school campuses in Northwest Arkansas. There are 17 school campuses throughout the city, so that requires extensive pre-planning, which includes mapping out each school's entrances, hallways, and classrooms and coming up with the best way to engage and stop the threat. How we can get an opportunity to actually train in a location that we may have to, uh, you know, unfortunately respond to, we're going to take advantage of that. So it's just really important skill set. we got to continue to keep on honing and, and, and uh, keep sharp on. Sergeant Mock also told us today the department pays close attention and uses body cam footage from other agencies as a teaching tool, just like what we saw inside Mercy Hospital in Fort Smith. Live in studio, Gabriella Phelan, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News.